Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hajira Shifa. So I am here today to wake us Africans up, to wake your conscience, to wake your minds, and to draw your attention to something that we're ignoring, that we're forgetting hypocritically. Do I hear that Africans are marching in protest in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in America? Oh yes, I know you're going to point out to me that I did so, but forgive my hypocrisy. It's only because I live in America. It's only because I have kids that are holding American passports, so I am fighting for their right. But who is going to fight for me as an African born in Africa, as someone who holds Africa in high esteem? Who is going to fight for my brothers and sisters that are in Africa? Who is going to fight for my parents that are in Africa? Who is going to fight for the entire of Africa? That is why I am here to speak to you. Hello, South Africa. Are you listening? The land of xenophobia. Are you listening? Are we really fighting against injustice because it is happening in America? Have you forgotten that just yesterday you burned down an African because they don't belong in your country because they belong to another country? Have you forgotten that you burned down their business and asked them to leave your country? Hello, Africa. Uh, South Africa, are you listening? Have you forgotten that the whole of Africa United came and helped you fight during the apartheid? That's my country man would say, apartheid. Are you really fighting injustice for an American that the whole world has already fought for? In a country that treats other people like garbage, other people like animals, other people like they are nothing? Is South Africa really fighting for injustice? Hello, Nigeria. Are you fighting for injustice? Have you forgotten that you just took a gun and murdered someone because of their hard-earned money? Have you forgotten you, you took someone's life because of your political power? Have you forgotten that you are leeching on corruption and leeching on other people, and leeching on the citizens that have chosen you to lead them? Have you forgotten that you strangled somebody because they spoke against you? Have you forgotten that you have, you've thrown people in jail for standing against the same injustice that you want us to see hypocritically fighting? Have you forgotten Nigeria, that you're raping women and children, that you're killing people just because you can? Are you really fighting for Americans in their own country because they've been unjustly uh, discriminated against? Are you serious, Ghana? Did I hear that there's a funeral that's been staged for the late George Floyd? The funeral that we have already fought for across the world against the white did i hear that you those who are given the white the right to continue to dominate and mistreat us are fighting against that and staging a funeral do i hear that the same uh, african or Ghanaian leaders that have allowed uh, uh, chinese to encroach on our land and mishandle us and even treat our african brothers and sisters unjustly in their country putting them out in the street and maltreating them. Do I hear that we're fighting against injustice in a land that don't care about their own? Hello, Ghana. Do I hear that you guys are upset that an African brother who lives, who was born and raised and never knew about Ghana, you're fighting for them when you are so quick to point to me as Pepe, as Antani, as an ordinary? Are you fighting? against injustice when you are calling out the guns because you are dominating them in on their land are you forgetting that you call the ashantis out because of their l's and their r's because of their tonation are you for, are you forgetting that you are asking uh, airways to prove their identity as citizens before they can vote are you forgetting that the ec is telling people without their passports they cannot be accepted as citizens you sit and you watch this and you want to fight injustice in another country? Hello, Africa. Are you really doing that? Are you really sitting down when a journalist was murdered for no reason, for speaking against politicians, for working to make sure that they serve with dignity, they serve with humility, they served justly? For we, those who made them leaders, are we going to sit down when girls are being raped every day with nobody to speak for them because they have no name, because they have no identity, because they are not from rich or political homes? Are we really fighting injustice? 
when girls are kidnapped and yet another girls group of girls kidnapped were freed we found them justice just because they had a different skin from mine are we really calling for justice when we are quick to point out children of different skin color that were born to lebanese parents and to white parents that lives and call africa home are we really fighting justice when we still refer to them as obroni are we fighting justice are we fighting justice when people are using their political positions to mistreat journalists, to haul journalists to jail just because they can? Are we really speaking against injustice when you cannot speak your mind freely in a country that is governed with a constitution? Are we really sitting down and watching our EC almost burning down our country because of her bias or their bias uh, uh, affiliations? Really? Before you call out the West for the injustice let's find justice for our brother who was married Ahmed Swali before we sit there and we call for justice for Floyd let's ask for justice for our three Takrade girls who were murdered let before we ask for justice let's stop calling Krobo women a shower before we ask for justice let's stop treating our own people like garbage Let's stop abusing uniforms. Let's stop the malpractices that we're using our uniforms to handle people. Let's stop the abuse of protesters and abuse of those who march to make sure right is done. Let's fight for justice for the poor farmer. Let's fight for justice for the poor man whom leaders have chosen to go and dig and encroach on their own land as Galamse uh, gold diggers. And yet the old and the rich will sit down and benefit from that. And the Chinese will have the right to shoot them on their own soil. Let's fight for that justice. Let's fight for the justice that the Chinese woman or the Chinese campaign will come to Africa and Oh my God, and destroy our lands and walk freely because they are Chinese, because they can, because you are benefiting from them. Let's call for justice and let's speak against the pastors who are sitting against the imams, the spiritual leaders, and also the chiefs that are turning blind eyes to the injustice that's happening on our lands today. Let's call them out. That is the beginning of fighting of just, for justice for the people of the country that we represent. Is Africa really fighting for justice? Yet we allow people to walk on us in our own lands. Yet we allow our own people to suffocate because they cannot speak for themselves. Because you have this power, you have the men behind you. Are you really fighting justice for an American? Are you really fighting justice when you do not even understand the word justice yourself? It's about time we have tribal tolerance. It's about time our leaders stand and do right. It's about time they start, stop abusing their power. It's about time they say no to corruption. It's about time they say no to the abuse of citizens on the land that they serve and they live and call home. It's about time we stop that. It's about time you stop referring to me as Zongo just because I'm not as educated as you. It's about time you stop calling me out because I'm fully clothed in hijab or I, I am not dressed the way you think is right. That is injustice. It's about time you wake up and see your fellow African brother and sister as a brother. It's about time you stop burning down Nigerian businesses in Ghana and you call it justice. It's about time you stop asking Liberians that are being forced to leave or flee their country, a country that was founded to keep them as slaves. Go and read the history of Liberia and you will know that there shouldn't even be Liberia in the first place. These are our brothers and sisters. They are as confused and lost as we are today. Before we ask the white man to not oppress us, let's stop oppressing our own selves. Before we really stand up to injustice, let's start working on the ones that we turned our backs on. First, by finding Ahmed Swale justice. First, by finding the people that we have already murdered justice. First, by finding the three Takrade girls and their families justice in Ghana. I'm speaking to you, Ghanaians. Are you listening? Look. We cannot run 
from the truth. We cannot be blinded by hate. We cannot allow our hypocrisy to take away our common sense. We cannot allow people to dominate our conscience because we depend on them. Stop it. Enough is enough. Before we sit down and we fight, make your own countries great. Before you call out people for unjustly mistreating African Americans, make sure that you are a contributor, a reason why they will see beauty in your country to want to come home so you would accept them as yours. We get up and we go to uh, uh, Dubai for leisure. How about we, we uh, do the same things? How about we get up and, and make our place beautiful, develop it? Nigeria have the best surgeons and the best educators in the West. Why are they so afraid to go back home? Because of the vindictiveness of our leaders and our own people. Ghana have the same leaders, intelligent you know, people, lawyers and what have you. But they are so afraid to go and serve in their own countries because they have conscience. They cannot stand the injustice that we are putting up today. You have the nerve to call out someone when you don't mind putting a gun to your brother's head and blowing it like uh, you would do to a watermelon. You have the nerve to tell uh, um, Americans and white people not to do what you are doing to your people. You have the nerve to want to be in power at the age of 90 or 70 or 60 when the young are waiting in line for a pass. You have the nerve to continue to want to be a parliamentarian, a member of Council of State. You, you have the nerve to want to be a senator forever. What is going to happen to our young generation? Why are they not being included? Why are they not invited to speak and be contributors to our nation? Stop. Enough is enough. Injustice is where we are. The more we continue to blind or to be blinded about our problems, the more the whites will have a reason to treat us the way they treat us. So if you want to stand up to these people that are slaughtering our brothers and sisters in uniform just because, I mean, because they are in uniform, just because they can, you need to tell them that there's a place they can come to. You need to tell them that you're not accepting it because you have not done it in your own country, to your own people. So stop the hypocrisy. If you really believe Black Lives Matter, treat me as a black sister and a brother. Treat me as a, an African first. And the whites will follow suit. I am not saying that it is right for them to treat us the way they treat us. But why are we making it difficult for our own selves? Yet we are so you know, ignorant about what is happening. We are so unaware of what's happening. And yet we want to call them out just because we see it on television. Allow your journalists to do the same thing. Allow your media stations to do the same thing. Stop prosecuting them. Stop taking them to jail. Stop messing them up. And you will see some of the stories that they'll bring to you will make you weep for Mother Africa. We have everything in Africa. We have the gold. We have the cocoa. We have the timber. We have all resources, the diamond, the bauxite. We have all of that. Why do you think the whites are always in our country? Why do you think the Chinese is so interested in Africa? Ask yourself that. It's because we have something they don't have. Yet we are the least on the, on the map when they talk about development, when they talk about riches, when they talk about people. For a Chinese to discriminate against you and for you to give them a pass in your country, you should be ashamed about that. What are you doing not questioning their leaders? What are you doing not fighting for our people living in those countries that continues to discriminate against us? Yes, I have the right to hold the Black Lives Matter placard because I have children that are American citizens. I have the right because I live in America. But make it free for me to live in Africa. Make it free for me to speak my mind in Africa. Make it free so my business can, can thrive in Africa. Make it free so that I can walk about without anybody targeting me for being who I am. We need to stop sabotaging people's business because of their political affiliations. We need to stop dishonoring people because of our egos. 
and our political affiliations. We need to take up from where other people have stopped because that is our job. So I'm done here. Enough is enough. Wake up.